Today, we get a tour of a massive food donation program. We check out our local ServiceNow office, and we find out what Bangalore's famous pub culture is all about. Yeah. This is our world, our work. A very warm welcome to all of you to our first Akshay Patra kitchen. We are now serving close to about 1.9 million children. We felt that we should cook a very hygienic and nutritious in a wholesome meal, cook and serve in the schools. This can fill their bellies, they become free from malnutrition and they also get education. Yeah, yeah we use very uh, you know, state-of-the-art equipment. What you see here is a rice cauldron. Basically steam is uh, boiled and the steam directly cooks the rice. So in this cauldron, in about 15 minutes, I can cook for about 1,000 students. This is the whole vegetable section. Close to about six tons are cut in a day in this Incredible. kitchen. Uh, Incredible. One thing that absolutely blew my mind was just how little it costs to feed a child for a whole year. $20. Wow, that's and, amazing. Yes, <laughs> and we even have an ERP. So we have a tracking of number of meals delivered. We have a tracking of the finance, how much money we are spending. So each plant head is targeted, you know, that you should focus on optimizing the cost. I would say in one sense, uh, it's a good ex uh, exper experiment of social sector using technology in a very yeah. innovatively. Yeah. <laughs> There's a child who's actually a, from a tailor's son. Generally, what would happen in, he would go become a tailor. But because his meal was coming, his father said, okay, you go to school. So he was a good student. So he completed his BCA, you know, Bachelor in Computer Science. Wow, and now, now he got a job, uh, which is fetching him 50,000 rupees per month. And the whole family is out of poverty because of this meal. So it looks like a simple thing, meal, but the impact is very profound. Yeah. How does it make you feel to do this work? Oh, very happy, very satisfied, you see. We feel, you see, everybody will think, you know, what am I contributing, right? Yeah. So I feel this is like a human service, uh -huh. which I've done. I can sleep happily. <laughs> <laughs> if you're inspired to give to this cause, check out the link in the description for more information. After the tour, we get to participate in a tradition that you'll see at many Hindu temples, sharing a meal with all who gather. We would have been happy with just a simple meal, but Anamika and Sumit had other plans for us. They invited us to eat at the Temple's Buffet Restaurant. This is coriander chutney, uh, salad, salad, and then there's potato and all that mixed together. Yeah, yummy, yeah. Now, usually I try to stay far away from buffets because my eyes are always bigger than my stomach. But today, I made an exception. Okay, first of all, I want to apologize because I'm going to eat an obscene amount of food today. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just going to do it. One thing that you'll find at some temples in India is a goshala. It's basically a cow sanctuary. Hello. And we decided to pay them a visit right after they finished their lunch. The cows here that aren't milking cows, they're just being cared for. They're yes. just living their life, yes. so to speak. You want to be a picture? Oh, 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 give us some space. Give it a little space. <laughs> it's like they were waiting for us to come to this bathroom time when we got here. Here we are at the ServiceNow office in Bangalore. And in a way, it feels like we're in a different world than we were in yesterday. Uh, we're going to go inside and we're going to meet some people. I don't think there are a ton of people here today, but we'll see who we can talk to. Hi, are you Arti? Hi, how are you? I'm Robert. Nice to meet you. So I've been working with ServiceNow for three years now. Okay. So I started as a contractor. So that's what's almost uh, two years I have done. And as an FT, I've completed a year now. Oh, good, good. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. We try to always follow the standards wherever we go. So is it okay? Do we not have to wear a mask at all times in the office? Do you want me to wear it? We please? don't want you to. We want you to do whatever you want to do. We just, <laughs> <laughs> we're just trying to. No, I don't know. We're just trying to fit in. <laughs> so Bangalore is like a central hub in India okay. for ITs, and it has been growing for a quite a good time in India. Definitely, starting from 2000, there were one or two companies here and there, but somewhere in 2003, 2004, that's where all the big companies they started to have their presence here in Bangalore. Have you eaten today? Not yet. Are you going to? Do you have a plan? Not yet. <laughs> okay, so no pressure whatsoever. Okay. But if you would like to eat with us, we would we'd love to have lunch oh, with you. Sure. We are going to have to walk slower. Okay. Because we don't want to see me sweating so much. <laughs> 
So I was brought up in a place which is like cold, like really cold. So I was raised in Jammu and Kashmir. Most of my childhood has been there. I'm used to a little cold temperature in this. Isn't this a place where, like you, there are many people who live and work here, but were not born here? Co correct. So I guess Bangalore is like a hub for everyone to come in. It's a welcoming city. If you ask me about different parts of the U.S., I could tell you my impression of how the people are in different places, but how would you compare people in Bangalore to people in uh, you know, Rajasthan state? No comments. Ah, okay, That's, that says it all. Yes, that is great. Thank you for taking us there. Delicious. Now it's your time to join us. Please <laughs> do come. <laughs> Just as we were finishing up our lunch, one of our colleagues walked in the door. She had brought some homemade sushi, and I was curious, so I asked about it. What I didn't realize is I was activating her Indian hospitality and basically obligating her to give me her food, which she did, and it was delicious. I don't normally myself to take people's food. No. Just, you, you just kind of were very gracious and offered and I had to say yes. So. Thank you very much. So the least we could do is invite her out to go pub hopping with us later that night. After we recovered from our extensive food coma, we were ready for a night on the town with our two new friends. And of course, we had to go in our favorite mode of transportation, the auto rickshaw. Namaste. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. How are you? How are you? Okay. What's our, uh, how much are we paying? As you like. As I like. 200 rupees. It's okay? 200 gold. Ah, uh, no, sir, sir. No, no, no. Give me 300. Okay. That's, that's fine. 300 for both, yeah? Okay, okay. So we learned from our friends that we made at lunchtime today. Huge pub culture. Someone who is prominent here in Bangalore decided that they wanted to make that pub culture a hallmark of Bangalore and really intentionally created it. So we're going to experience that tonight and uh, see see what kind of beers are involved. Uh, have you ever had a crash in the rickshaw? Crash? No. Never? No. Not once? How many, how many years did you drive? Uh, 25 years. 25 years? No crashes? No. It's impressive. What's your favorite place? Coven Park. Bangalore Palace. Oop City. Yeah. That's where we are. Yeah, yeah. Oop, do you think we should just stay where we were? Yeah. Okay, well, this was a mistake then. Okay. Running a little late, but I think we're gonna make it. Do you have uh, children? Yeah. Young, old? Small. Ah, okay. What job do you want your children to have? They can do this. Same, same, this one. Uh, engineer. 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 Yeah. Computer. Yeah. Oh, good job. Yeah. Yes, okay. Why am I, I don't think, of all places, I think I can take this off here. Still my friend, Samba. Samba, yeah. namaste. Okay. People travel like this every day, right? It sure is a fun way to go. I mean, if it was completely safe, I would always want to go this way. It's like, halfway being in a motorcycle, right? What was your name? Sayed. Sayed. Oh, we have a colleague named Sayed. Yes, Robert is my name. Yes, oh, good. namaste. Okay. Wow, wow, wow. Look at this place. Amazing. Arti? Hello. How are you? Can I eat it now? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Oh, uh, look, look, it's a trick. You can't, you can't dip it, you have to break it. Is this spicy? It's my, it's mint, I guess. Oh, delicious. Yeah. Very, very good. Super great flavor. We were pretty impressed with our first Bangalore pub, but Salmia told us that there was another humble joint we needed to check out just down the way. This is, this is bizarre, this is nuts. I feel like this is where the movie stars come. Are we gonna be able to afford this place? Yeah, yeah. Like it? I 
do like it. Yeah, that's the dumb biryani. Dumb, dumb, dumb biryani. Yes. Okay, that garlic is on level 12. All right. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. That was the fun part. Now we need to do yeah. our jobs. Okay. <laughs> so you took us to like the Las the Las Vegas of Bangalore. Yes. I feel like. yes. <laughs> And this is the only place that meets your standards in all of Bangalore. No, no, there are so many other places also. Right now, I'm kind of used to this place. It's pretty nice. Yeah. It's pretty nice. It's a little fancy for a neighborhood pub, I would say. Yeah. <laughs> but it's very nice. So, thank you very much for bringing thank us thank here. Thank you. It was delicious.